Guys, we are in Grand Rapids, Michigan, now my 18th state for a card show. It's chilly outside, 13 degrees, so I'm gonna keep it short. Today we're gonna to be visiting a card shop show. Legends Card Shop is hosting a card show within. Now, usually these are really small. I went to one in Jacksonville once, there's only 10 dealers, but this was advertised as about 30 to 40. Super excited because I also saw this on YouTube and it looked like a decent show. Let's see how we do. Before we go over the pickups at the Michigan show, I have to take the sponsor's video, which is myslabs.com. Also, if you don't know, they recently announced a raw card section on the platform. I'm actually helping them out with it, looking for different fake sports cards on there. When a fake gets identified, it gets pulled off the marketplace, whether it is raw card or also a slab. So take a look at myslab.com. They have the lowest fees in the market. Michigan. So I went a little value box hunting and I found a 1954 Ted Williams as an SGC2. So I picked up this whole lot for the sticker price on the Ted Williams, which was 225. Check it out now. So I just picked up this huge vintage lot for $430, but there's some really cool pieces in here. I wanted to highlight the 1975 minis. Some people know that like Topps does Topps on the band for mini cards today, but they were first released in 1975 as a regional release. Now the two cards to get in that set are the Yount and the Brett Hall Famers are also really good and it's plentiful because you're talking about the 1970s. But I picked up a few of them in here and I'm about to show you them now. found this card show through a YouTube channel called Up North Collectors. I was browsing on YouTube for a Michigan card show because you guys know I want to do all 50 states and I actually found one of his vlogs. So I'm going to talk about his YouTube channel a little bit and type of content you can find there. All right, so my name's Luke from Up North Collectors. Uh, me and my dad have had a YouTube channel together now for the past five years. We open up a ton of sports cards together, so make sure to check it out. We also set up at this show here at Legends and a bunch of other shows within Michigan and all kind of all over the Midwest. Um, set up at shows, buy and sell stuff. So it's been a lot of fun and then we try to document the whole thing, so. No more bargain boxing, I got this lot for $10. value box hunting, I picked up this huge lot for $150. Gonna go around and ask a few different dealers what they have been selling the most so far at the show. So my $2 boxes have been selling super well lately. Um, they really always move at these shows because uh, people just love to get these deals. But the people that have been selling in my showcases have been, of course, John Morant. LeBron's been asked about a lot. Curry, all those guys, and um, Trey Young has been doing pretty well today. 
So mainly just the main guys and um, like uh, Ja, how he's just been tearing it up. So those are the guys that really move well at these shows. Hi guys, so cards that dealers have been buying and selling. I've been I've seen a lot of Ja selling, a lot of Miguel Cabrera moving. People have been looking for Cade as well and asking for him. So, so far I've been moving mostly stuff out of my 50 cent and one dollar boxes. It's almost all football, basketball, and actually a lot of soccer stars. So guys like LeBron, Curry, Messi, uh, Neymar, a bunch of those names have been moving really, really well. And then a lot of like hot rookies that guys are prospecting on. And then some of the local guys to Michigan, so like Killian Hayes and Sadiq Bay and a few of the guys like that. Another bargain haul. Got this huge lot of cards, a lot of baseball and basketball for $60. Card show thoughts. The first thing that I noticed here is all the dealers wanted to use Venmo instead of PayPal. So usually when I go to shows, everyone defaults to using PayPal as a form of taking payments. Here it was Venmo and I talked to a lot of dealers. This would even happened way before the IRS rules applied. So just know that if you are going to a show in Michigan. Next, so many value boxes. I feel like almost every table here had a value box next to their display case. So you can mix and match those type of cards and find some really, really good deals. Walking across the show, you could also buy cards from the shop and also the dealers, probably about 40 dealers in general. So it was quite a few for actually being in any card shop. Really had fun here today. It's about 3.15 a.m. here in Orlando. I'm absolutely exhausted. Plane landed here a few hours ago, but there was an issue at the Orlando airport. Not sure what it was, and we were stuck on the runway for two and a half hours, three hours, something like that. Horrible being stuck crammed on that plane for that long, but hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Next weekend, I'm going back to the Oldsmar flea market where I first started getting into cards. This is kind of like my LCS as a kid. They're hosting a card show. Weekend after that is gonna be a big vintage show in Cleveland, which I'm super excited about because there's not gonna be one modern card at that show. See you guys in those videos.